call it. Heads or tails. <laughs> oh, silliness is saying. Oh, did you break that? Oh, I did. Oh, you did. <laughs> now you'll have to eat out of one of the dirty ones. <laughs> you have ruined a fine plastic dish. <laughs> and you'll eat out this one because I won't. Well, that thing's got well, a just has spot or something on it. It's got a detergent spot in it. Well, that's all right. <clears throat> Clean out your insides. Be good for you. Better than that asafetida bag you've been wearing. <laughs> You know. Hi everybody, I'm Larry Bly. And, oh, we really uh, are yes. on, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been sitting here waiting to go on for a couple of weeks. Well, we I, I really didn't know. I didn't hear anybody say stand by or anything. No, Did I they, they say stand by? they've been whispering to you well, while you were really? over there oh. digging around in the well, it's stuff. it's real funny. They talk aloud during the show. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Something at the beginning of the show. Well, we're real glad to see everybody. And as usual, we have loads. No, we're of... not. I wasn't ready. <laughs> well, <laughs> you have been ready for years. <laughs> so we got to do what? No, we're, we're going to read people the mail and do some fine recipes today, some fancy foreign food. You just food. got a haircut today? Yes, I did. Isn't it attractive? I had done never seen your earlobes hanging by out By the like folks that. down at the Star City Barbershop. Oh, for heaven's sake. Mm -hmm. Cutters swear. to the stars. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have one here from oh, good. Christy Bright. <laughs> Uh, what is that? Winfield, uh, Los Lu Angeles? No, Lu Louisiana. Louisiana. Los Louisiana. <laughs> I'm not ready for this show. Dear guys, doesn't even say that, it says you guys. Mm -hmm. I'm writing to tell you that my mother and I both think your show is great. We watch it every week and we love your recipes. Opposed to those who put you down for the way you cook. Using the same spoon for tasting, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I think the way you cook is normal. My mother and I cook the same way. Keep up the good work. Yours, Christy Bright. Well, isn't that sweet? Cooking training, Winfield, Louisiana. I wonder if she's a personal friend of Strawberry Shortcake. <laughs> sounds name just sounds like this. This is a letter from <laughs> Margaret Casper, who says, um, "Very short. I enjoy your program and some of your foolishness." <laughs> that goes with it. And Chris Price wrote in and says, please, please send me all of your recipes. <laughs> P.S. I, let's see, I watch your show every week. I think you are silly, mm. but I watch your show anyway, or yeah, something like yeah. that. What hey, else have you got? Well, maybe we'll wrap up uh, several of our rotten onions to send along. And uh, Mrs. F.W. Wright from Lynchburg, Virginia, that's down in Jerry's, All the way Jerry's down place. There. <laughs> Jerry's town, yeah. Uh, says that we are two nutty characters. Oh, no kidding. And But she wants to know, why do you keep looking to your left off stage? Time watching signal? Oh, yes, it's very over important. To your left. Maureen over to yes, the left is well, always and she's signifying all, to me. Uh huh. And, among other things. Yeah. Sometimes it has nothing to do with the time. <laughs> if you if you knew Maureen, you would understand it. Sometimes she's just trying to sometimes Maureen's just trying to get him another message or two across. <laughs> but anyway. Well anyway, anyway, let's get over here and do these fine foreign food recipes. The fact of the matter is it's darn difficult to do a show with all these people talking and signifying <laughs> all over the place. I gotta show you this. Oh! You know our staff members are always trying to keep us on the cutting edge of technology. Mm. And little, little Mikey, little Mikey Carroll, our our fine cracked uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> audio man in uh -huh. the back. You know the guy that's responsible for it's always sounding on the air. Uh, he uh, brought this little thing here. The last one he brought me, I couldn't get to work. You but never this could one, get it to work. This one, you know, right. this is a little propeller. See, a little propeller. <sighs> He said not to and blow it up And he's used too. to blowing up the balloons because he does it for the police so often. <laughs> <laughs> oh, almost went <laughs> almost into your that neat? Uh huh. Yeah. I that was doesn't amazing. Have it actually worked. Doesn't have anything to do with the program. We just we just thought we'd let you see that. Well, let me start here so that you'll have plenty of time to do your uh, dish. Do do. Uh, I have to do something very difficult. I'm going to make some cream of chicken soup out of this can. That's all, Larry. You go ahead I'm and. Just, uh, if thing. you think you might have trouble making the soup, all you need to do is read your directions and it'll explain it to you. Well, now I need to ask you about something, this okay. recipe. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Oh. We're in real big trouble right off the bat on this recipe. The Channel 15 <laughs> 
incredible mouse. <laughs> I don't believe it. Has bit into the flower. Oh, how no. you. Oh, it, and we can tell over here because he's left a sign oh, over here on the glass. Please oh, do we have awful. to go into this. I mean, it's a cooking show. Oh, how humiliating. Sake. Right here on the air. Let me go to some more fresh flour. <laughs> fresh flour. See, no holes, no nothing. All right. We'll have to call one can of those. Can you believe that? <laughs> What we're going to do is mix the up just things that a... we go through. I mean, people write into us all the time and say that they appreciate mm. that our kitchen is just like theirs at home. And I want to tell you, I need to ask you something about, about today's recipe. What in the world are you doing? That thing got mighty hot. Good kookamooga. Look at that. Could you? Good kookamooga. Could you tell me something? Yeah, sure. God, that's going to scorch down in there and taste off. How did it get to be on a show called Cooking Cheap that we decided to do veal? Huh? Veal. Veal. Well, you know, if you watch carefully, they have sales on it every once in a while. Yeah. And, and you know, you get a good deal on it. So this is one of those things where you should, if you see a good deal I on what... I didn't get a good deal on it at all, ladies and gentlemen. Where did you get it? <laughs> no, you just watch your, your store, preferably your Kroger store, and if they have a sale on it, as they do periodically, Buy it and freeze it if you can't use it right then. That's the smart shopper's thing. Sometimes, you know, if you, that's why I buy a lot of brand things with uh, coupons because you can afford to buy a more expensive thing if you have uh, a cheaper way to do it. Okay, here what we're going to do is we're going to take our veal, our cutlets, and we're just going to dredge it through this flour with a little salt and pepper on it, seasoned flour, okay? And get your, get your pan real hot Woo. so that when you throw it in there, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> Let me turn it up. Turn it up a little bit I if you it. would. I thought it was real hot, but it wasn't. And you may want to throw a little more uh, salt and pepper on it after you get it in, which we will. These are fairly large. I'm only going to do two of them. Here, put this on that, <laughs> that bad eye. <laughs> Sorry, let me just put that in because I don't have room for all three of them in here and I just don't want to mess with it. I'll put that one away and we'll put it in the freezer in a couple of minutes. Now we're finished. Now what we got to do is, is, is very quickly brown that on the outside and that should have been hotter than it was. Well, I thought I had it real hot, but you know, we're sitting over there talking. I kind of lose track of time and it either burns well, everything up or it's not ready at all. There it is, it's getting hot now. Yeah, it's doing fine. But it should be a lot hotter than that. And, and that's what going I'm going to do for right now. And I'm just going to town on this chicken soup. What are you, you're going to town on chicken soup. Which town are you well, going to? Well, this is a Greek chicken lemon soup and it's got a, the name is, now I know I'm going to say this and everybody out there is going to write everybody. in and tell us how dumb we are, but it's a hard name. The way the person that sent it in, and it was from a, an unknown viewer, somebody just sent this in to us. It's Avgalamino, or, <laughs> and I've have heard it different opener. ways. I need the opener. Okay, here, have it. <clears throat> but anyway, I've just got a can of plain old cream of chicken soup, and I'm cooking that, and when it's done, we're gonna add some things to it and put it in the blender, boys and girls. Oh no, not yes. that again. And uh, the incredible the, exploding blender. And it's going to be flavored with uh, lemon and coriander. And this is a great example of what you can do with a canned soup to dress it up and make it a little bit different. And uh, my soup is boiled and it's ready and looks great. Blair, how much more have you got to do right now? Do you, can I go on? Well, yeah, All keep right. on going. I'm just having to brown this on the outside, and it's working. If you let me just flip it over real quickly, you'll see it is starting to get a nice. Isn't that pretty? Nice brown. That's a little bit of margarine, and just brown it quickly on both sides. It should be hotter than that, but it's it's getting there. All right, well, go ahead. I need While we're waiting for the other side to brown, go ahead. All right, I need here. Look, look at this lovely new package for an egg. Have you noticed that to come like this now, so that you can just go and buy one? <laughs> and up. if you believe that, you'll believe anything. I just didn't want to have it wreck in the car. You put an egg down into the blender. Uh-huh. Nicely done, Mr. J. Oh, that's right. Very and to done. that, we're going to add the juice of one 
limon and our little juice extractor. And of course, if there at your house, you might probably have one of those fancy electric ones uh, that hooks up to your food processor so that you can do this a lot easier. But of course, this is much better for you because people like me need to exercise. Yeah, that old arm hadn't been used for a long time. Except to you smack can... smart Alex with. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you can tell that by now, that old soft thing. Now, the blit, oh, this won't go in. The blit, the... Blit, blit, uh. All right, now we've got the, the juice of half a lemon and the egg in the blender, and we're going to chop it up here, whip it up. Get on it. You get so excited with that blender. Now we're going to put a little of the hot soup into it. See, I learned my lesson since the last time. That's right. Now we've got that in there. See, you leave the top on with a little thingy out of it. And now that's cooked everything in there. Now we're going to, oh, that is so hot. Oh, it burns. All right, now we're going to add the we rest don't do of that this. anymore. Cream of chicken soup in here. I got pepper up my nose. I'm ready to explode momentarily. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm, uh, while he's and doing that, I'm, I'm taking some mushrooms and, and slicing them thinly. Now I'll back later. And I've got to put a little coriander in here. And, oh, and look, it's got one of these protective things on here covering up the seeds so some terrible person doesn't come along and give you a load of bad coriander. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody doesn't see And it today. says that you just need a, a little dash of coriander, so I have about a quarter of a teaspoon of coriander seeds, and I'm just going to put them down in there. And now... Now, now, please, let's hope this doesn't. Whew. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we'll let that run for a minute so it'll crack up that coriander. And mix it up real good. All right, Larry, that's all of mine. Okay, now, if you will look at this, you will see that this is very finely, nicely browned on the outside. It's very pretty. <clears throat> and we're still keeping this very, very hot. Now, what we're gonna do at this point is we're gonna add a cup of chicken broth. And I'm using it just right out of the old Campbell's can. And put that in there. That calmed it down a little bit. Now, it's a gurgling around in there. Now, I have taken, oh, uh, considerable pile of <laughs> mushrooms. I forget how many it is now. It's quite <laughs> a few, about a half a pound of mushrooms, thinly sliced. And we're gonna put those in there and boil them for just a couple of minutes. Just throw them in there. And while I'm waiting for that to boil, and I'm, I'm just gonna do this all uncovered. I don't think it's necessary to cover it up. I'll just put all that in there. This is wonderful. I don't know why I say that, because I haven't tried it yet but I'm just being optimistic about it. Hopeful. I think you should were. be. Well, hopeful is another word for optimistic, I suppose. Now, while we're doing that, I have opened up some. This is, uh, is it Sauternay or Sauternes? Sauternes. Sauternes, which is a, a fine, sweet, it is a sweet dessert wine, French dessert wine. And I wouldn't drink it personally. Well, I would just use it. Oh, I don't like sweet. I wines. guess you take it intravenously. Like, <laughs> well, I have like one. You hooked, do some other I things. have one hooked up to me right now. Uh -huh. No, uh, I don't like sweet wines, but it is good for cooking. Some of you may like it as a dessert wine. I liked wine. her fine. She was real nice to me when well, I was a young was. man. Now we're gonna cook that a little bit. Next thing we do now is you just bring the mushrooms to a boil, which we did. Now we're gonna add a bay leaf and we're gonna simmer it for 20 minutes. <laughs> it, it could get real dull for the rest of the program, but it's not going to because I'm going to keep going right along with it here. I am. I'm going to 
go right on. The next thing we do is we add parsley and wine. So I'm going to just take some of this gorgeous parsley. Isn't it pretty? Just love oh. that. I cut some. I'm just going to chop some of that. Out of that attractive vase. Out of this very attractive ba vase with this very semi-voluptuous uh, Fifi Le Glass uh -huh. on it. We can't even show it to you. The well, boys we gave us. Well, the boys gave us it's some glasses. A lot glasses. of fun if you put an ice cube in the glass. <laughs> it us a bunch of glasses for Fifi Christmas. Is a lot of fun. Yeah, we just can't show them to you. But anyway, I'm going to chop up some of that. The last thing we will add is some Parmesan cheese. We'll do that just a little bit. So anyway, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add parsley. Oh. Isn't that lovely? Mm -hmm. Just a picture of loveliness. You may want to send in for a photograph of this. I don't know why. There's none available. And then add very carefully about a half a cup of this oh. stuff. <laughs> the Born. wine. That poor young camp has gone to glory and will die again. <laughs> and we'll in never know it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. And then you just cook it along for about 15 or 20 minutes, and it should be just as fine as can Tenderized be. And then and you will, and then we'll just special. put a little ordinary cheese right on top of it, sprinkle it just as you're serving it, and that should do the job. That's it. That's the whole thing. That's as fancy as it gets. Absolutely. Now. Let what? me give you a couple of hints since we got a little time to do it. A little On, time? We still got a half a show. No, no eight minutes, that's not No, bad. let me give you a couple so of hints on what you can do to, with the what? veal. What? If you get your butcher to slice your veal real, real thin, thin, and you could pound it <clears throat> a whole lot with the, the... Well, those mallets. With a mallet and beat the flour into it. So that is a good, ex easy way to, to make your meat go a little bit further mm -hmm. so that you can save some money. Uh, also, instead of putting the whole slice of veal into the pan, if you cut it up into some smaller pieces, that makes it a little easier to deal with. With uh, the Greek lemon soup, you could have a Greek salad, which is always easy to do, and use some interesting uh, good olive oil on it, or corn oil, or whatever, and some olives, and a little bit of feta cheese. You know what else you could do with this veal? It just occurred to me. What? Laban. You could just finish this off by yourself uh -huh. and forget about the cost. Yes. <laughs> but anyway. And uh, what? I'm sorry. I, I well, that's quite all right. Interrupted and, a good thought. There. And with the uh, croutons that you could use with this soup, although you need to watch out for them and make sure that Doris Ford has not slipped you a phony one. <laughs> 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 uh, you could do a. This lemon, Greek lemon soup has a very delicate taste, so you could use a, a highly seasoned uh, crouton with lots of uh, garlic and good olive oil on it. And they're easy to make simply by frying bread in a hot pan with, with the olive oil and wiping some uh, garlic over the bread before you fry it. Or you could do it after you fry it, for that matter. And that makes a delicious thing. You know, Lair, we ought to have uh, the uh, recipes so people can get a good look at them. All right. Now, the Greek lemon soup, you need canned cream of chicken soup and, of course, milk to add to it. You put in a blender, an egg, the juice of half a lemon, and you blend. You add some of the hot soup to the blender along with a dash of coriander. You blend it, add the contents of the blender to this, back to the soup and you've got a wonderful, uh, delicious, unusual soup that's very easy to make and thrill all your friends. Takes more than that to thrill my friends. Oh, the val the, the veal scallopini, or the val uh -huh. scallopini. Uh, two pounds of veal cutlets, it's about three real large ones. You can stretch that. In fact, mm -hmm. one of those can be almost served two people. Yep. Very, very handily. Seasoned flour, there's a little salt and pepper, whatever it is you like to have in there. I always keep it real simple. Three tablespoons of oil, a cup of chicken broth right out of the can if you don't have any around the house. Half a pound of mushrooms thinly sliced. Uh, one tablespoon of chopped parsley. And uh, a bay leaf, stick that in there. And then of course your sweet uh, French wine. And then you'll top it all off when you serve it with the Parmesan cheese, which will be real lovely. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know it will be. Me. Just wonderful. You know, one time we had somebody wrote in and they said, you know, what do you make seasoned flour with? And, and you know, there are many, many uh, recipes for seasoned flour. Colonel Sanders, how many? 
was the 17? Oh, there's quite a few ingredients. Fine thrown herbs in there. and things, mm -hmm. but basically people in... Salt, pepper, and, right. uh, and flour. Mm -hmm. That's about Salt, it. Salt, pepper, really. and flour, and I like a lot of peppers. Some people don't like I as do much, too. but uh, you can do it. I've seen, however, recently, Bly, uh, there are several mills that are putting out flour now that is pre-seasoned that's really wonderful. Uh, you know, they stone grind the wheat and make uh, flour the old-fashioned way, and then season they it, earn and you it. can buy a seasoned <laughs> flour, so you could do that if you don't want to fool with it, but it's so easy to do, why not do it the right way? Well, Miss Witch is here today. She is. Been sniggering around with her... They uh, picked her up on uh, radar earlier <laughs> over at the airfield. Uh -huh. Said she was flying <laughs> low. Uh-huh. <laughs> She's the lowest thing on two feet. <laughs> Pow! To the moon, Alice! <laughs> I always wanted to do, I'll let you read. I've read the last two or three and oh. been totally humiliated. Dear boy. Yeah? Boy. That's what it says. <laughs> Dear boy. Cleet and I live here in New Hampshire. We have never traveled south of Philadelphia. Uh-huh. Could you cook something southern for us that would stick to our rather attractive ribs? Thank you, Buffy Bandit of Craig, New Hampshire. That's from <laughs> Buffy and Cleet Bandit of Craig, New Hampshire. <laughs> I'm sure well, we Well, heavy southern now. food, honey, if you want it, you'll get it that's next right. week. This hasn't gone a full 20 minutes, but that's all right. It's ready. I'm sure it is because I fried it right heavily before we, before we got to the real rest of the part. Isn't that lovely? Mm -hmm. And it smells real good, too. And well, make this sure you get is some of that. awfully attractive, too, make if sure I you do get some of that. And then you take this and you just sprinkle a little bit of Parmesan. Don't overdo it now. Maybe just another grain or two is exactly right. So anyway, and Mr. Johnson, he's uh, got that soup going over there. Well, and we're going to go over, over our fine shag carpet. <laughs> <laughs> they spare no expense here in the dining room. Ooh! The Wait arthritis has took hold of my knees so bad. Were you uh, were you out uh, in the snow on your knees uh, for some reason, well, Johnson? Well, I don't know. You know, there it's you just Isn't that worked pretty? on me. Isn't it that a lovely is. presentation, Johnson? Very Admitted, attractive. it's just real pretty. Very attractive. Well, I'll try the soup. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That mm. is wonderful. Ooh, the scallopini is right good, too. Mmm. It really is. That that soup is just real tasty. Now yeah, give me a try of the scallopini also. As Mr. Johnson mm. says you can make the scallopini go a lot further, a lot of different Stretch ways. Stretch it. Stretch it out. Stretch it out. Is it real hot? Mm mm. Mm hmm. Full. <laughs> It's real hot. I just wanted to see you get burned for a change. Mm, I'm the one wonderful. with the delicate lips. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. This is a part of the show where we sit and groan for one more minute. Believe mm, me. Mm, mm. This is good stuff. Mm. Try it at home, you'll love it. We're gonna try it here. Have yeah, some more of the soup, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. We've got ourselves a well, winner this do. time around. And we'll see you around the gatepost. <laughs>